I want to show you, I am in the middle of nowhere. There is nothing <laughs> around me except that barn. Let's go see what's in there. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in the western suburbs of Chicago, the way western suburbs of Chicago. And we've got a great Christmas special for you. We're gonna unwrap a package. And I'm with Bill. Bill, your last name? Uh, Butler, Bill Butler. And Gary? Uh, Gary Dingus. Gary and I have done his Laguna. Check out that video for sure. But today we've got something special for you, a little bit different than what you usually see. What year make and model is this one, Bill? Uh, this is a 1970 Chadell Super Sport. <laughs> Let's take a look. And the condition, well, you can see I'm in a barn. So we have a barn find for you. Bill, come right alongside me. First of all, how long have you had this car? What year did you purchase this car? We got this in fall of 1971. Fall of 1971. <laughs> you can see, well, it's been stored a bit. And Gary just purchased this car. Gary, tell me why you needed to have this car. I've been chasing this car for years. Uh, 70 Chevelle is my dream car. And uh, I found it and Bill's gonna let me have it. So, so you finally got your dream car. How do you I, feel about it? I'm pretty excited. So. And Bill, the, I know the check hasn't cleared yet. So <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get that completed for you. But tell us about, we, you can see it's been opened up here. Tell me about that right there, that's different. Oh, that is a, my little custom hood lock because I went to school in Milwaukee where batteries tend to disappear out of vehicles parked outside. Is that right? So I modified that so the hood can only be opened if that is released from inside the cabin. How, and now you, how old were you when you bought the car? I was uh, just 20, going to be 21 that fall. And your parents were okay with you getting that car? Oh, because they helped you with it, right? They they helped. They kicked in a little bit of money for it. I had my trade in, and so I had a good driving record, and it came available. They knew I wanted one for a long time. So tell me a little bit about what wasn't his mom your teacher or something like that? Yes, yeah, she was back in uh, fifth grade. She was my teacher in this little town of Sublette. And she drove a big block in Palo back in the day. <laughs> she was driving what, 454? 454, Bill couldn't, uh, yes. You got a fun mom there, that's for sure. <laughs> so, so we've got, I'll just show it to you here while it's literally in its spot before we pull it out and I can show you more. So now that we've got it pulled out for you a bit, Give it to you from the side. How do you feel? I feel good, Lou. <laughs> good Let's feel better. Good chase down. We'll show it to you from the back. Some original parts there. Nice. Let's open this up, shall we? Sure. That. Okay. The right amount of pedals. The mothballs, it kind of smells like that. I'm gonna sit in it for just a second. Original miles, 51 there. Nice. The eight track, your Hurst. Please, no smoking. <laughs> it's great. All right. Done? Yeah, let's pull her out. Okay. Hey, Lou. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a real quick story. Yeah. It'll only take a second. Sure. When I was 17, my uncle had a twin to this car, but it was blue. And he was five years old and he was selling it. And my dad would not let me have it. Of course, I'm 17. Yeah. And a 396. 
So 47 years later, my dad's buying this car. <laughs> my dad just passed away. Is that right? I'm yep. sorry to hear your dad's passing, but yep. congratulations on your new toy. Yep. All right. You tell them how far you want to be up, Blue. Yeah, let's pull it all the way wherever you want. Let's put it up in the trailer. You want to roll back? Yeah. Okay. Coming home after all these years. Once I get past there, Bill, I can go to the door and then we'll just put the door I got out of it. Outside. Yep. We, we scared it a little bit at this point. Go ahead. Let's <laughs> take a look at her. It is. Chance to see the light of day. It's been in there quite some time. <laughs> How do you feel yeah. with uh, getting out of your car for the last time? And it's not I, the last time. You can always go. I'm sure Gail will give you a ride any time you want. Would that those part of the sale well, agreement that is that I will get to drive it occasionally yet. There you go. And he promised me a set of keys even for it. Uh, and if it weren't for the fact that Gary is going to restore it, I probably would not give it up. Got but it. it needs to be restored, and I am not in a position to do it. So, got it. Here Perfect. It is, and that's what's going to happen to it. Perfect. Like it's even starting to snow out here a little bit. There we go. Go No, 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 It's cold enough to be snowing out here. Official cobwebs.
3,750 pounds. 3,750 3, pounds? in the middle of nowhere. Very excited, little. <laughs> I can't even say enough. So. My dream car, I finally have it, so I'm happy. Well, congratulations. The next question is: So, what's do you know what the intention is yet, or not yet? Now I have to absorb what I'm going to go from here. Yes. Okay. I'm so, not sure. First thing is getting it running. First thing is getting it running. Okay. Gary so. asked me to come back out and take a look at the car. So here we are, 12 days later, right before the holiday and you can see well it's been cleaned up so not only has it been cleaned up but Gary tell me when you were cleaning it tell me about that process what's happened now a lot of my stuff that we had to clean out in the back seats and stuff everybody kind of kicked in vinyl top come out beautiful it's like peeling back an onion yeah the baby is perfect so this uh it cleaned up pretty good for what it is so yeah still got more work to do um it was very fun yeah a little hole down there and we've got all the you can see all the... This is original paint. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay. Obviously, you put some new rubber on it. We've got the rings. You can see over here, the Chevelle, the SS. But it's all, it's all here. Very nice. Let's open her up. First of all, I couldn't see that before. <laughs> A Marquette University. Let's show that. Uh, there we go. And there's your interior inside, as you can see. Headliner looks pretty solid. There you go. There you go with our gauges. What's the original mileage on there? Let me see if I can see that. There you go. Try to put that light in there. There we go. There's 51. Move. 51, yeah. Alright, and then the other gauges as well. Nice. I like the... Please, no smoking on there. All right, but well, we've got an extra treat for you as well. Even like, if you look closely, maybe if I can get that there, you could see a spider web <laughs> right there. I mean, SS in the door, but we've got a treat for you. Let's open the engine compartment. And you've been tinkering in here too. Yes, we have. So put a new battery in it and uh, check the oils and everything. The coolant and everything and we're good i do have a leaky water pump we can handle that um she does run let's go let's start her up i'll have you shut those lights on i turned those on so i could see those there you go oh, this is exciting <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. That's crazy. How do you feel? Oh, I'm very happy, Lou. <laughs> After 47 years of chasing one of these cars, I got it. They finally got the gift. Yep. nice too because this is the not the Muncie this is a hearse that's in it now we'll give it a little u-turn here yep. I can't even believe that I'm in this car 12 days later and we are driving hey, go ahead this guy's making a turn go ahead obviously it's raining out yep. a way to celebrate this car. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. Gary, this is a treat to have this car running. I'll tell you that. It's a treat for me to be the next owner of this car. Well, I'll tell you what, what a wonderful opportunity. And for everybody watching, what a great gift. What a great uh, Merry Christmas. Thanks so much for being on my car store. Thanks, Lou. Well, this is the Christmas episode, and isn't it great that Gary ended up finally, after 47 years, getting his car? Well, much like that car, I know that I started out all fresh and shiny and new, and as you get older, you get some parts missing, and you get some work done, and you get a little dusty at times, and many times, like that car, you feel alone, and you're in the barn by yourself, and you find out that the real reason for the season is that an almighty God... Uh, the creator of the world brings us a gift, just like that car brings us a gift, which is his son, Jesus Christ. And you get the chance to, like that car, get restored and uh, come out all shiny and new by accepting him, the son of Christ, Jesus, as your Lord and Savior and repenting from your sins. So I hope that we recall that it's not about the cards, the Christmas cards or the cars, that it's actually about the birth of Jesus Christ, and that's what we celebrate. And I wish you a very restful, enjoyable, Merry Christmas.